Does anyone else like to address the board? One twenty one Palm Summit. Uh, I had planned on, on uh, piggybacking on some of these questions that were raised tonight, but did any of the uh, any of the council members or the supervisor attend any of these workshops that were put on over the weekend? Nobody went to it. So I think I got your letter. According to Gar, <coughs> property inventory survey was mailed to each property owner. Each property. So your property owner. So you must have got a letter. I did not get a letter. Well, they said it was included with this letter. So, point one. Number two, we're discussing whether they have a right to enter your property and measure. According to their data their verification and collection process, which will take place from August of this year through April 210, GAR will attempt to perform an interior and exterior inspection which will include measurements of the property and a collection of uh, data about all other structures, pole barns or anything else. But I guess the legal question still has to be answered. If you refuse to give them access to your property, then they're not going to be able to measure the exterior of the home to determine what square footage is. That's correct. Okay. Yes. How will they determine how to assess the fair value of the house without the overall well, we have the estimator. We can use um, property survey. If there's a survey available, we can do that. We can look at what records we already have. We can look at the pictometry. Um, you know, we'll do our best. But they also stated, regardless, they will take pictures from the right away because they will get a from photo a, of every property. Yes, from the road, not any property. And they also indicated that anyone to answer any questions that belongs to their staff will have proper identification with them during all field inspections. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. Are there going to be more workshops? Yes. Is there anyone else like to address the board? Wednesday and Thursday are two more. And Saturday. And Saturday. And Saturday. And Saturday. And Saturday. Saturday. Michelle, do you have anything? Nothing, thank you. Heather? Nothing else this evening, thank you. Vern? Nothing. Charlotte? Nothing. Billy? Nothing. I have a letter here from a Helen Page to, Cicero, to the Cicero Town Board. I'm writing this letter to the board regarding two serious fires that have happened in my immediate neighborhood in the last 10 years, the most fire being at 5996 Arantine Way. Arantine Way? Cicero. First, I'd like to say that I have the most respect, the most up most respect for any man or woman who are firefighters. They give up their time, families, and they often put their lives in the line to help the community. It takes a special person to be a volunteer. My concern is the time that it takes is taken for the trucks to be dispatched and often mutual aid is brought in. I'd like to make sure that the Cicero Fire Department is fully staffed to run seven days a week, 24 hours a day. If this is not the case, with no disrespect to the Cicero Fire Department, I would like the town to check on the other sources for fire protection. As we all know, the town of Cicero's population is growing larger and larger. I thank you for reading my letter and ask the town board to take my request seriously, Helen Page. What I did is I contacted um, Fire Control 911. The dispatch went out for the fire at 16, 17 hours, which is 4, 17 in the, in the afternoon. The first chief, which was car two, called out in two minutes. The first engine called out, which was engine one from Cicero, they also got the call out at 1617. They called out nine minutes. Nine minutes is good. That, that's a good response time. The second engine from Cicero was 10 minutes, which was also good. Unfortunately, and I know, Loomis, you, can, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When somebody's at a fire, it seems like it takes forever for the fire trucks to get there. But the norm is by the time you leave home and you get to the firehouse and you get on the road, it's about five minutes give or take, especially if you're, you're moving around at the wrong time of the day. So for these guys to get there in nine minutes and ten minutes, that's, that's good. That's very good. That house was gone in three minutes, so it didn't matter anyway. Right. So, right. Unfortunately, the house was way ahead. It was fully involved. It was fully involved. The house was gone before the, before the trucks even showed up. So, so they got nobody was in there. 
Chad, I talked to the witness at the scene who first went over there. The residents pulled some of the propane tanks from the grills off the deck. Mm. And when he looked inside, that fire had been cooking for an awful long time before it even showed up out on the outside. Right. So, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, they may believe that it took a while, but I checked the, checked the times and it was, it was a good response time. I don't know how they could have done it any faster. Um, secondly, I think we're on a, a roll here with the state for reduction of speed. Um, we've been notified that um, Route 31 from between Thompson Road and South Bay Road is going to be lowered to 45. So I think that's going to be a little more consistent with the rest of them. Um, any other time they turn us down, but we're, we're in a pretty good roll. Yeah. Excuse me, but the signage is already up on that in that area. Right. It's already 45. Well, the signage has been up for a while now. They, for whatever reason, they just yep. sent us a letter today. Okay, I noticed. So I don't know why. They did it. Um, be no further. Any, anything else? Anybody else wants any comments? Be no further business. Meeting adjourned.